Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, in today's video, we are beginning a new series on how to read the panel drawings. So in substation control panel drawing reading series, today we are going to see the wiring for CT and PT inside the control panel. So friends, this is as you can see on here, this is the single line diagram of the control wiring. This is the first page of panel drawing. So it indicates there is a 66 kV bus, then there is isolator and a breaker is connected to it. Then the arrangement for how PT and CT is arranged over here, you can see. And as th this is the drawing for a transformer panel, so there is transformer over here. So that's the single line diagram. Now let's see the drawing in detail. So uh, as we have seen the single line diagram, now this is the basic wiring diagram of how NCT and PT wiring is done inside the control panel. So for starting we have RYB phase. This is the isolator. Okay, so this type of isolator for 66 kV. Then there is a circuit breaker, this kind of circuit breaker and this is the CT okay, and there is a PT. So for PT the, on the secondary terminal blocks from this secondary terminal blocks the wiring comes over here inside the control panel. So this is the wiring done for PT. So you can see over here in this TB how the wiring is done. So terminal block is basically indicated by either TB or X. Okay. So there are different number of various number of TBs. So it is called the group of this TBs is called given the nomenclature as TB1, TB2, TB3 or as it is indicated over here it is can be called as X1, X2, X3 and so on. Now inside this group of TBs, this individual TB is also given numbers. So if we want to identify this particular TB, then the code will be like TB1.1, TB1.2, TB1.3, TB1.4 or as it is indicated over here X1.1. So this indicates this first TB of this group. Okay. So this is how the, uh, we will see how the ferruling is done for wiring and how the TB indications are given over here. Now PT wiring ferrule, let us see. See the code for PT wiring is nomenclature says it is E and it is almost universal. So if you see anywhere in the drawing, normally if it starts with E, then it is PT P wire belongs to PT. If the ferruling starts with E, then it is PT wiring. For R phase, the codes will be 1, 1. For Y phase, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1. And if you have 2 PT, then it will be 2, 1, 4, 1, 6, 1 and 8, 1 for the second PT. Right? So if I want to do the wiring for R phase, then the code, ferrule code will be E11. That means it is a PT wire of R phase. Okay? Y phase E31, B phase E51 and for neutral it is indicated as E71. So you can see guys E11, E31, E51 and E71. This is the cable that is coming from the PT outside in, in the switchyard into the control panel in the control room. Okay. See, uh, you can see over here. Next it goes to this terminal block that is X2. So on X21, you have E1, it's E11, see, you can see X1, X2, X2.1, X2.2, X2.3 and X2.4. So the nomenclature and ferruling is done over here as E11, E31, E51 and E71. Okay, so you can see it is connected to the fuse further. Okay, these are the fuse links. Okay, so friends, this is how the fuse links are provided so after fuse links the wire has changed from e11 to e12 32 and 52 respectively for ryb phase this goes into the voltage selector switch that is shown over here so it looks like this 
and through the voltage selector switch it goes into the voltmeter the voltmeter indicates the kilovolts of the panel the other use of the pt wiring is for energy meter so uh, this three wires now through ttp that is test terminal block this is the back side of the test terminal block you can see over here the pt wires r y b phase and neutral are coming on one side and on other side it are going into the energy meter so this is the energy meter where all these wires will come so you can see this energy meter uh, through this ttb for this energy meter now this wires will be indicated as 735333 and 13 right so this is how the pt wires are used they are also used for megawatt meters mbr meters and power factor meters also so for ct wiring you can see on the uh, tb of x 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 1 okay and neutral is connected on terminal number 4 right so this is the ct wiring okay it is indicated at d11 331 d51 and d71 you can see over here from this the ct metering core is going into again test terminal block this is the back side of the test terminal block see you can see it is coming as d11 going into meter as d12 again coming back as d13 and d14 becomes the neutral and it goes back so you can see over here d11 coming into this test terminal block this link is provided over here if it is connected that means it is going to energy meter if it is not con connected you can uh, perform the test for this uh, energy meter over here so this kind of links are provided for energy meter so this is going inside this is d12 coming outside as d13 and through this it becomes d14 going inside the mains for this megawatt meter coming outside as load as d15 again going into this mbr meter going inside as a mains and coming outside as load at d16 going inside the power factor meter and coming outside for the sd17 for ampere r phase ampere meter and again becomes neutral and comes back as d71 right so this is first goes into energy meter then it goes into megawatt meter again mbr meter power factor meter and ampere meter and finally come back as a neutral to d71 so in this video we have seen the basic ct and pt wiring so let us quickly revise all the minor concepts that we have seen say for tb or x is the indication of a terminal block tb okay the group of tbs is called as either x1 x2 xc or tb1 tb2 tb3 individual tb inside that group will be called as tb1.1 or say x1.1 next for pt for pt wiring ferrule the code is e and the phase code will be r y b and neutral will be 1131571 and again if it is second number pt 214161 and 81 so for r phase if we want to indicate the k ferrule it will be e11 y phase e31 b phase e51 and neutral will be e71 now same for ct wiring ferrule if the ct is used if the core is used for metering it will be indicated as d if it is used as backup protection it will be c if it is used for differential protection the nomenclature given is a and for bus bar protection the nomenclature given is b so for phase codes again we have 11 31 51 71 71 so if we are giving a ferrule for metering ct core then it will be d11 for r phase y phase will be d31 b phase will be d51 and neutral will be d71 
so friends this is how ct and pt basic wiring is done for control panel in next video we will see how to read ac and dc wiring if you have any queries you can please ask in the comments below